All right, here we go. Give it a little dance. Make a little love. Boom, we're maestro. All right, first on the server. So it's the summer medley fair. We're all here to have a good time, but what is going on? There's tons of stuff to learn. This is going to be your guide to walk you through all the process. So here we go. All right, so first off, this is the Medley Fair stage. You can find three of these around the map. There's one in Brightwood, there's one in Everfall, and there's one in Monarch's Bluffs. You'll want to teleport to the nearby shrines, and then once you walk to them, they become their own shrines. You can actually use this. I can teleport from one to another if I want to, right? So it can start teleporting. The dance floor is its own stage. So for now, we're just going to stay here in Brightwood. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to talk to the Medley Fair Maestro. He's going to give you so many quests, right? There's going to be about 10 in the quest line. Make sure you bring about 20 water with you because you're going to need it for part of the quests. But as you come, once you finish the shop, you'll be able to check out the Medley Fair shop. All right, and we've got some starter items uh, that you can get very inexpensive sources of food. They are new ones for 33 for 25 minutes. Uh, so good enough for your many of your dungeon runs. Uh, very inexpensive, only two tokens to get them. I'll show you how to get tokens in a second. But you'll see that a lot of these have a blue token. These are the normal token costs. And then some of these have this like more golden token. This is the premium tokens. And as you level up, you're going to be able to buy, get, buy better and better items. These uh, schematics, the patterns, are going to be very sought after. But check this out. This is the one you're going to want to do. So once you're a maestro, you're going to be crafting 600 items that have refreshing and aversion all right two guaranteed procs you're getting the third one you're you are going to have to spend the materials but we'll get to that at the end of this video all right so there's four ways that you can collect experience the first one is to dance on the dance floors all across the map all right they give 250 experience you can do it if you haven't seen them yet there's one in monarch's bluffs another in the northeast corner of everfall and a last one on the western border of Brightwood. All right, so 250 points. You can do that once a day. Uh, next, if you haven't done it, best source of event experience is to talk to the Medley Fair Maestro, and he will give you a quest line. All right, and that quest line, make sure you bring some water with you, but it'll send you around uh, the different Medley Fair uh, points on the map and give you some experience for doing it. The third way you can gain experience for the mission is to go up here and there's a new section in the town boards, all right? They got rid of town progression or town upgrade, I should say, and they give you this. You have festive lumberjacks, festive uh, events, right? You can do these. Each of these gives 10 event reputations, so uh, it will cost a little bit of an investment on your part if you want to do it, but things like this, getting the sparkwood torches, pretty easy, all right? So you can get these uh, very quickly. They're about as simple as doing the crude iron armaments. Uh, and, you know, there's 30 points available within every town. It has the added benefit that when you do it, the more you do it, as you pass towards your uh, festival center in your city, the bestowment actually goes up. So you'll start seeing that some of these places uh, are giving grand bestowments. All right, and that's fine. We'll go here. We'll collect this. All right, and it gives you diamond gypsum and a beautifully packed basket. And inside the baskets, you're getting three medley fair tokens and somewhere between 40 and 70 coin. And then you'll notice that as you continue to do the town boards, this center gets better and we have an opulent bestowment. So this is the highest level. And from here, we get our gypsum and we get an exquisitely packed basket which has considerably more coins and five medley fair tokens. So if you're in a town, it does benefit yourself in the long run, especially if you have your house or you're in someplace there. Uh, do the town boards, right? It's a very fast way to get a lot of experience, uh, and it will also up the bestowment level so that if it's a town you spend a lot of time in, you can use it. And the last thing you can do is go fishing, all right? If you go to newworld-map.com, you can search for fish, select the summer medley fair event. And for example, I'm in Restless Shores. It'll show me where all of the hotspots are. So let's go check one out. All right, so here we go. We're approaching a, in a summer medley fair event, a turnum hotspot. All right, this is what they look like. They've got a little teal glow to them. 
Uh, they do they do seem like they're set back a little bit further, so I, I've been overcasting with some success. You don't need any bait here, but what I've been using is the large bait. That way I'm more likely to get large Eternum Sturgeon. But when I go cast into this spot, I'm going to pull in a, uh, fish that are fish and items that are relevant to the event only. Now you'll see if I cast from this close, it's a little bit harder to to get the full reel in, right? Because they are retreating a greater distance relative to the size of your of your cast. So I'm going to back up a bit. Make sure you're not near any animals. You see they're a little bit off centered. And you'll get that blue spark when you hit the spot, and it'll tell you landed on hotspot. And when you come, here's where you'll get the fish, and this is your final source of experience. You get 15 points for a large, 10 for a medium, 7 for a small. You get 3 points for a medley fair cash, and you get 1 point if you get the stuffing or seagrass. All right. Medium Eternum Sturgeon. Look at that bad boy. Now, the other way that you can go fishing apart from these hotspots is to use your Maudlin Bug bait. All right, when you go to one of those swarms and you play the Maudlin Bug Haze, you're rewarded with dust and with bait. All right, and if you play three songs, uh, you can get 30 bait out of it. And you can swap your bait when you come to this. If you have the Maudlin Bug bait, I've already burned through all of mine. Uh, but you'll have it in the, either of these two spots. And then you can cast it in any water in in the entire game the key is to find deep water right so anything that you can run in is very shallow anything that you can walk in is shallow water and then anything where you're over your head this is deep all right anywhere where you would have to breathe you want deep casts whenever possible because it increases your chances of getting large fish now that you've caught your fish you can go ahead and open them they're treated like treasure boxes as you open them they'll have fillets the medium ones will have a better chance of getting your eternum sturgeon scale and the large ones will have an even better chance of getting your legendary fishbone tossing the legendary fishbone into the pyre is the last way that you can get experience that's an extra 25 you can get uh, so at the very very end when you've got all your stuff go ahead and toss them in and start the party so now we've got all of our tokens what do we do all right you go into this into these side carts. You'll see that there's one on both sides of the party. All right, you can go to either one to the festival cart, and you take all your scales. No reason to hold on to any of them. And you're gonna turn them into tokens. You can do the same thing with your fillets. All right, 15 tokens here for me. And you've got your maudlin dust, which you got from playing in the haze, or being around someone who did. All right, now that we've got these three, I can take some of them and turn them into premium tokens. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to save that for when I get the to uh, the premium fishbone. When I toss it into the pyre, it gives me 25 experience and it gives me a premium token. And there's only a, there's only a set list of things you can get with your premium tokens. So I care more about uh, keeping my medley fair tokens. All right, but you can do it either way. You can convert either way using an Azoth vial. So let's check out what we can buy. All right, now you go into the mount to catch, and this is basically your raffle prize stand, if you will. All right, and so we come over here. I don't have any of the fish with me, but if you bring your fish, actually, let me see. We've got this. Oh no, that's not what I'm not missing. You have to make your magnificent memento stand, which we've done. You go look at the type of Memento that you want to, if you want to make an epic trophy out of it, you need to go find an intense ether vial. All right, so we're going to go jump over to the Medley Fair Master, and he's going to give us what we're looking for over here. This is where the rest of the shop is going to be. This is where, like, all the materials are going to be. All right, you can get your food. Scale Dust Delight, if you didn't have any um, luck, luck equipment, this is the best way to get better luck for your uh fishing expeditions but when we go all the way down to the bottom some of these are nice some of these are okay i'm gonna get i'm gonna put a spotlight in my house but maestro shop right intense ether vial i'm gonna need these for each of the trophies that i want to make these are 20 a piece all right so if i want to make this i'm gonna have to use 160 out of my 269 tokens but for right now we'll do one the other items you can make are these uh, these patterns, all right, for masked mackerel bre breastplate. Now, these are absolutely insane. 
All right, so you've got your pattern, all right? And in this case, I've got heavy armor, which means I need to go to the forge. And at the forge, it'll give me some options to use my uh, extra extracts that I've been that I've gotten from from salvaging. But what I really need to do is go check out this pattern mad, masked mackerel breastplate, okay? And what you can do, you can actually select which one you want. You can select whether or not you want it intelligence, whether or not you want it in elemental of uh, whether or not you want it in focus, whether or not you want it strength, dex. Now here's the thing: I can actually craft this. It, it's telling me I can craft. So we're gonna take a we're gonna take a peek. We're gonna go into a 25 con. Uh, it does take 10 Asmodium, six Runic Leather, five Phoenix Weave, and it takes the pattern. But look at this: it's always going to come with elemental aversion. It's always going to come with refreshing. It's going to have your gem slot. This is a bis item. Let's go ahead and craft. 600. Refreshing. Healing tomb. Elemental aversion. Refreshing. We've made our magnificent memento stand. We ha we've bought our ether vial. All right. And now we're going to go over here. Aquanaha, normally that this is just an ultimate fishing trophy. Uh, we save it. We've got the ether vial. We've got the magnificent memento stand. Boom, let's craft this, and we're going to see how it looks in our house. So we go to this menu. We've got the trophy fished. Here it is. Oh, it's big. Whoa, it's big. It's huge. Oh, my goodness. This thing is massive. There we go, monster in the corner. Look at that thing. It's enormous. This thing looks savage. Oh yeah, I wanna put it here so badly. Do I flip it around? Flipped around, plus 13. And we'll put this fishing trophy right up there. Too many items of this type. All right, it does not stack with your fishing trophy. All right, so in this event, where you have to choose which trophy to get. Don't try to put up both of them. It does not work. All right, it doesn't say that it wouldn't work, but this thing right here has to take the place of this trophy. So let's pick it up. We'll get, we'll let it borrow this spot. All right, plus 16 points. Now we do have a room. Let's see if we can put it up just for testing sake. Nope, too many of trophies of this type. All right, they said it would stack, but it does not stack. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot. I'll catch you guys next time. Keep it surreal. Peace.